In this problem, we're told that the graph of function f is given. And we're given this graph here. And so our first part is asking us to state the value of f of 1. So basically what f of 1 is, they're asking us, what is the value of our function? So what is the y value at x value 1? If we look here, at 1, our um, y value is 3. So that's going to be the answer to the first part. So let's look at the next one. So next we're told to estimate the value of f of minus 1. So we're supposed to find the y value at minus 1. And if this is 0, then this is minus 1. And the y value looks to be about uh, minus 0.3. And so yeah, that's a pretty good estimation for that. And then next we're told for what values of x is f of x equal to 1. So basically what this means is what x values is the y value 1. And we can see 2 here. So at here is 1 and here is 1. So what are the x values at these places? So at this one, the x value is 0. So one of the values is going to be 0. And then here, this is 2, then this is 3. So the other x value is 3. So at 0 and 3, our y values are going to be 1. And then next we're told to estimate the value of x such that f of x is equal to 0. So basically we're trying to find the value of x, so our x value, when y is 0. So if we look here, this is when y is 0. And the x value looks to be about um, minus 0.7. So that's going to be the estimation for the value of x such that f of x equals 0. Next, we're told to state the domain and range of f. Enter our values in interval notation. So the domain and range is basically, well, the domain is a set of x values of our function uh, that goes across our function. And the uh, range is our set of y values. So if we look on our function here, our function's x values go from there to there. So uh, this is going to be, if this is minus 1, this is minus 2. So it goes from minus 2 all the way to, and then if this is 2, 3, and 4. So it goes all the way to 4. That's going to be uh, the largest positive uh, x value. So the domain is going to be from minus 2 to 4. And then now the range is we, we want to look at the bottom of our function. So the smallest y value of our function is right here, which is minus 1. And then the highest is 3, or yeah, 3. So it goes from minus 1 all the way up to 3. So our range is going to be minus 1 to 3. And then finally for f, we're asked, on what interval is f increasing? So if we look right here, this is going to be when f is increasing, because right here our y value is going down. So from what interval is this? Well, this is minus 2, so it starts increasing at minus 2, then it goes all the way up to right here, uh, 1. The x value is 1. So from the interval of minus 2 all the way to 1 is going to be uh, the interval in which f is increasing. And so these are going to be the answers to this problem.